So in the last video, we made a program that flipped 1 million coins and it successfully told us whether they were heads or tails. And in this video, I wanna continue with Kotlin as a programming language. And to get started, we're gonna be discussing functions and how to use them and why they make life so much easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a sample function. So this is going to be a user defined function. Later, I will tell you what the difference is between user defined functions and functions provided by the Kotlin language. So to get started, we're gonna write private function do something. And this function is just going to print a statement, which is going to be, I did something. Now this function is not gonna do anything yet because we have not called it. As you can see, it's still grayed out and that means it has not been called anywhere in the program. To make a function work, you have to call it in your main, which means it will be executed as a normal line of code. So essentially this is just a wrapper for lots of code that you can put inside. And the whole point of this is to be able to reuse code later. So if I write do something here, you can copy and paste this over and over and over as many times as you want, and it will continue using the code that you have written in here. So if we play this program, it will say I did something four times. I did not write print line, so it's a bit confusing. We will just edit that to say print line. And then as you can see, it printed I did something four times. And next, I also want to discuss the functions that are provided by Kotlin, such as the square root function and the random function. So inside this do something function, we are going to write value number equals square root, which takes float as an argument. So we're gonna write, let's say the square root of 16. And it's also important to import the square root function provided by Kotlin. And as you can see up there, it will import kotlin.math.square root. And we are just going to print line the square root of 16 is, and we're gonna add an equal sign, interpolate the answer, and we're gonna enter a number there. And if we click play, you'll see that this do something function was called in the main, and that executed all of these lines of code. So it says, I did something, and the square root of 16 is four. And also if you do value random number, and you equal that to one, to 10 and call dot random at the end. That is another function that is provided by Kotlin, which randomizes the numbers. But the next, uh, the next kind of function I wanna show you is a function that can take arguments and can return values. But first let's create one that says add numbers. And it's going to take first a number one of type int, and then a number two also of type int, and these are called parameters. And we're going to write a few lines of code inside here that adds these two numbers together. So we're gonna write value total equals number one plus number two. And we want to print the total. So we're gonna do total equals total. And then of course we need to call this in main. So we're gonna write add numbers. And when you enter numbers here, they turn into arguments, which means 12 is an argument and 24 is another argument. Ah, I forgot to add a parenthesis here. And it will successfully calculate the total of 12 and 24. And it is also possible to provide default values as parameters. So if we go here and we also, let's pretend we want to add a string. So we're gonna write message of type string. And we're gonna just add a default value of this is a default string you can do this and it will not give you error if you decide not to add the string there. And right under, we will just print the uh, print line the message. So we'll write message there. We will expand this a bit so you can see what's going on. And as you can see there, we have no errors, even though we have three different parameters and only inserted two arguments. But in case we want to add a message, we just write, here's a message and it will override this and it will print this message instead. So if we click on play, you'll see that it will output the total of 36, which is the sum of 12 and 24, and it will also write here's a message, which is what we specified as a string over here. But let's just get rid of the message and click play again. You will see that it's printed the default string that I entered earlier, the one over here. And that works for numbers, floats, or any data type that you insert as a parameter. And finally, there's one more thing I want to show you regarding functions, and that is how to return a value in case you want to use this function as an expression instead of as a statement. We can just write return 
N1 plus N2. And of course, we need to add the return type up here. So you can do that by creating a double dot after the parentheses with all the parameters and writing the desired type you want to return. So we're just gonna return an int. So this function adds N1 plus N2, it will print the total and it will also return the value of N1 plus N2. So up here we can create a value of total and equal it to add numbers. And we can just get rid of these two and print line the results, which is total. And just for fun, let's change this to 100 and change this to 99. And if we click on play, we should get 199 printed to the console. And those were the basic uses of functions and they are just nice for creating reusability in your code. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to go over in this video. If this video was of use to you, please consider leaving a like. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.